today on Trailer Reaction Videos, Matthew says... Hello, I'm Matthew Bielbont and welcome to Trailer Reaction Videos. Today we're going to look at the live action version of The Little Mermaid after uh, the horror that is Robert Zemeckis' live action Pinocchio film, what will, will become of the live action remake of Little Mermaid? Oh, I'm, I cringe, therefore I'm uncomfortable. So, uh, uh, let's see what happens here. Okay, three, two, one. Disney 100, whoop de doo They're making uh, animated stuff since 1923. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, the sea. Whoa. Cool, is this Finding Nemo? Be better off in Finding Nemo than this junk. Oh, from Disney. There's Ariel. Oh, look how big and epic it's trying to be. There's Flounder. My, he's come down. I'm drowning here, May 2023. So yeah, that's The Little Mermaid starring Halle Bailey. And let me just say, while she's a good singer, it's just is that, no, I'm not racist or anything. It's just is that I just don't want to see another Disney remake. And it's just as I got a bad case of LBM, Lil no, LMB, Little Mermaid Bombardment. Okay, I first saw it when I was like six, and then later I saw it again when I was uh, when I was uh, s the same time because because nothing good was on, so those parent, mom, and dad had to make my brother and I watch this, and then at the round three or third time was uh, okay. And by the way, this copy of Little Mermaid. It came with a uh, a cartoon, which is Rabbit Ears Productions' version of Noah's Ark, which was far more entertaining than this. And then came this um, movie. And then then came then came the time where I wanted to watch Son of Godzilla, and Meryl wanted to watch Back to the Future too. And we were fighting. And then uh, then my father took away the tapes and made us watch A Little Mermaid. My brother was not the only one who was miffed. I was miffed too. I was livid. I mean, I saw this film three or four times after I watched it again. First of all, well, do I have to watch it again? Second of all, Son of Godzilla. Like Little Mermaid, it's Ray G. Third, I'm, what am I? Someone's daughter? I'm a son. I'm, I'm too old for that stuff now. I'm too big for this one. It's not for me to begin with. I got a bad case of the walk-ons here. And second, I just don't want to watch this mo movie to begin with. And I've been avoiding like the plague. And even every summer when we went to Disney World, MGM Studios, before it was called Hollywood Studios, we were like forced to go to Voyage of the Little Mermaid. And ugh, Meryl and I, my brother... Meryl and I got bored of it, and it was fun while it lasted, and, but still, I have to go there again, I still, well, I was so reluctant to go there, Meryl was reluctant, I got a bad case of the wall cons, yeah, so, I was like, no, no, displeased, 
So, is this movie worth the hype? No, after what Pinocchio did with us, why why do it again with Little Mermaid? And if the second trailer comes out, I'm either A, not going to react to it, or B, still going to slander the heck out of it. So, no, I'm not going to watch it. So, do you agree or disagree? Did you suffer from a bad case of L... M B Little Mermaid Bombardment or other stuff where you got a bad case of the wall cons in terms of entertainment. Comment down below. I would sure like to hear from it. So this is Matthew Bielant saying don't forget to like and subscribe. Ah oh, Have a nice day. It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? No more! Where the f*** are your parents? Who are your parents? I'm gonna call Child Protective Services! It's time to stop! Tune in next time when Matthew says... <laughs>Trailer reaction videos gets its power from Matthew B. Lamont Productions. This is WMBL Channel 9 Somewhere. What? Can't I do a parody?